Hello students, Mr. Jeff Bezos took four key lessons from Van's failure. Number one, hire those who were in charge of the failed strategy. If you wanted to get into a new business, you could not be faulted for hiring someone who had been spectacularly successful in that new business to run your operation. But Bezos did the opposite hiring executives responsible for WebVan's failed strategy. Amazon's fresh service is led by Doug Harrington, Peter Ham, Mick Bounds and Mark Misantri, former WebVan's officials who had spent years analyzing and fixing the problems that led to its demise, unfortunately. Hiring people who have failed is hardly a guarantee of future success, but it seems to be working for Mr. Bezos because these four Webvan vets who knew the business intimately and must have thought about what they did wrong with the business and must be eager to prove that they can apply the lessons learned to revive their operations and reputations. Second, Acquired technology invented by the failed executive. A robotics company named Kiva Systems built Kiva on ideas and technologies originally developed at Webvan, and that was a key part of Web, uh, and that was a key part of Amazon Fresh strategy. Kiva's product consisted of huge frisbee-shaped robots that could be steered via a grid of flow magnets. The robots would pick up the warehouse rack containing the item in the customer order and would deliver it to the operator. The operator would then pick the item from the rack, scan its barcode to verify that it was correct and put the item in a cardboard box that uh, contains and will be shipping it to the customer's shipping label. In 2012, Amazon acquired Kiva for 775 million US dollars as one of its largest ever acquisitions. Number three, focus on attractive micro segments. While the grocery industry is huge, but only a tiny fraction of that market is uh, attractive as a place to operate an online grocery business. Finding those micro segments was a crucial element of Amazon Direct Strategy. Gary Dahl, Vice President of Distribution at Webvan from 1997 to 2001, told Reuters that he had learned about the importance of segmenting markets based on mean travel time between delivery stops. Amazon Fresh only delivers to densely populated areas. Keith Anderson, an executive at consulting firm RetailNet Group, told Reuters, If you drive into certain neighborhoods in Seattle, you will see a lot of front doors with Amazon Fresh totes. That's because Amazon expanded gradually into specific neighborhoods and tried to deliver to lots of homes in those specific areas. Number four, fix the business model before expanding. One of the most interesting points of the Webvan case was the company's obsession with getting big and large in a short period of time. A Webvan boat member and partner at Sequoia Capital told readers Webvan committed the cardinal sin of retail, which was to expand into a new territory, in our case several territories, before we had demonstrated success in the first market. In fact, we were busy demonstrating failure in the Bay Area market, while we had already expanded into other regions. God knows, this was a big, big mistake. Through very gradual expansion of Amazon Fresh, Bezos demonstrated that he 
learned it from the grave mistake made by Webvan. Summary The four lessons he learned from Webvan's flop and applied at Amazon's Fresh highlight Bezos' broader lesson for managers, which is winning flows from focusing the best brains and technology on making life better for consumers. Thank you very much.